Hey folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at all of the individual dividends that I earned for the month of September 2023. So let's go ahead and jump into it and take a look at how my portfolio overall went for the month of September. Alright, so we can see overall that my portfolio jumped down 4.19% uh, overall for the month for a loss of about $1,283. Uh, bringing my portfolio value down to $29,332.44. So we dropped back down below that $30,000 mark, which hurts, but the market is going to do what the market is going to do, and we are just riding it for the long haul. Overall for this year, we are still up almost 2% overall for gain of about $420. So I'm still happy to see that, and we're just going to ride the waves and keep making those dividends in. Um, let's go ahead and see how my strategy has evolved from last month. Um, we can see last month my, my breakdown was here focusing on finance and telecommunications sectors and just trying to re, essentially revalue all of these things, rebalance I should say. Um, we went ahead and invested in one share of ticker symbol TD, which is in the finance sector, for $62.22. And with that and the market fluctuations with that, we went ahead and saw an increase in the sectors, especially for telecommunication there. We jumped up about 0.1% overall. Um, finance, we jumped up about 0.6% there. We're still below our target for that and real estate and well as a couple others but we're going to be financing working on focusing on finance and real estate sectors as far as reinvesting and trying to build up that side that sector percentage of my portfolio as far as that goes our targets are broken down here um, this is based off of the overall value of my portfolio and these percentages here and so these adjust on the fly as the market valuations of each one of these companies adjusts and how much money I invest into them. And uh, then we have the total dividends broken down by each one of these sectors, bringing my, mo my total dividend average for the year to be increased to $1,223.13. But that is how the breakdown went. Uh, let's go ahead and see how many dividends, how much dividends I earned for the month of September overall. As far as we can see, we made $105.92, so a larger month there. This is the first time, I believe, that we have hit over $100 on that second month. Remember, we have that triple at one, two, three. Uh, so we've seen that increase. We're now over $105. Uh, next month in October, we should be right around $120 and then drop back down. So I'm excited to see that. And we did wrap up our quarterly, our third quarter dividends. So let's take a look see at that. Um, we can see that we came in for a total of $297.87 for the third quarter of this year. Uh, we can see that this has slowly been progressing as well over time. Um, just a little bit of play here as far as dividends and that adjust as companies increase and decrease their dividends, which we have seen both of. But overall, we're bringing in a total of $879.70 in dividends for the year. Um, that will increase again as well. So let's go ahead and take a look-see at all of the individual dividends that I earned in the month of September from how many companies? All right, so dividend number one coming in on the 1st of September is ticker symbol ENB, which is Enbridge Incorporated, for $2.22. It is a Canadian company, so we are seeing that additional tax come out. We own four shares of this stock, and we are up just under 1% in this position overall. Dividend number two coming in again on the 1st of September is ticker symbol PSX, which is Phillips 66, for $3.15. We own three shares of the stock, and we are up over $170 in this position for a gain of 91.6% overall. Dividend number three coming in again on the 1st of September is ticker symbol V, which is Visa Incorporated, for $1.35. We own three shares of this stock, and we are up a total of 13.3% in this position for a gain of just under $81. And this is a bigger company in my portfolio, taking a total percentage of 2.35%. And the majority of my companies are going to have less than 1% total value in my portfolio. So anything that is over 1% is a bigger boy in the pot. 
Dividend number four coming in on the 5th of September is ticker symbol LYB for $1.25. We own one share of this stock and we are up 37.2% in this position for a gain of just shy of $26 overall. Dividend number five coming in on the 5th of September is ticker symbol PFE, which is Pfizer Incorporated, for $1.64. We own four shares of this stock and we are down about 4.4% in this position for a loss of about $6.13. Dividend number six coming in on the 6th of September is ticker symbol SO, which is Southern Company, one of my personal favorite companies. Uh, we made $10.50 in dividends from the 15 shares that we own, and we are up over 6.6% in this position for a gain of about $60. And this is one of the larger companies in our portfolio, coming in at 3.31% overall. Dividend number seven coming in on the 7th of September is Tigger Shumbel BNDX, which is a Vanguard Total International Bond ETF for 24 cents. We own three shares of this ETF and we are down about 6.5% for a loss of about $9.90. Dividend number eight coming in on the 7th of September is Tigger Shumbel CMI, which is Cummins Incorporated for $1.68. We own one share of this stock, and we are up almost 7% in this position for a gain of about $14.83. And they went ahead and increased their dividend from $1.57 a share to $1.68 a share, so 11 cent increase in their dividend, and I'm happy to see that. Double digits, ooh, <laughs> kind of. Um, dividend number nine coming in on the 7th of September is ticker symbol JNJ, which is Johnson & Johnson. For $1.19, we have one share of the stock, and we are up about 4.5% in this position overall. Dividend number 10 coming in on the 8th of September is ticker symbol AMGN for $2.13. I own one share of the stock, and we are up just shy 10% in this position for a gain of just over $24. Dividend number 11 coming out on the 8th of September is ticker symbol COST, which is Costco, another one of my personal favorites. We made $3.06 from the three dividends that we own, and we are up over 52.5% in this position for a gain of $584.78. And this is one of the biggest companies in my portfolio, coming in at 5.78% of my portfolio value overall. Dividend number 12 coming in on the 11th of September is ticker symbol CVX, which is Severon Corporation, for $1.51. I own one share of the stock, and we are up over 86.5% in this position overall for a gain of just over $78. Um, so happy to see that there. Dividend number 13 coming in on the 14th of September is ticker symbol CNP, which is Centerpoint Energy Incorporated for $5.51. We own 29 shares of this stock and we are up 26.5% in this position overall for a gain of just over $163 in this position. Dividend number 14 coming in on the 14th of September is ticker symbol HD, which is Home Depot Incorporated for $2.09. I own one share of this stock and we are up over 5.7% in this position for a gain of about $16 and a quarter. Dividend number 15 coming in on the 14th of September is ticker symbol MSFT, which is Microsoft Corporation, for $0.68. Cents. We own one share of this stock and we are up just over 39% in this position for a gain of almost $89. Dividend number 16 coming in on the 15th of September is ticker symbol FLO, which is Flower Foods Incorporated for $1.15. I own five shares of this stock, and we are down just under 9.5% in this position for a loss of only about $11.55. Dividend number 17 coming in again on the 15th of September is ticker symbol KEY for $3.08. We own 15 shares of this stock and we are also down about 12.5% in this position for a loss of just over $23. Dividend number 18 coming in again on the 15th of September is ticker symbol NEE, which is Nextra Energy Incorporated, for $3.27. We own seven shares of the stock, and we are down again 23 23.7% 23 for a loss of about $124.61. Dividend number 19 coming in again on the 15th of September is ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income Corporation, for $1.53. We own six shares of the stock, and we are again down 24.8% in this position for a loss of just shy of $99. 
The last dividend coming in on the 15th of September, dividend number 20, is ticker symbol STAG for 37 cents. I own three shares of this stock and we are down 5% in this position for a loss of about $5.44. Dividend number 21 coming in on the 18th of September, sticker symbol DUK, which is Duke Energy Corporation, for $2.05. We own two shares of this stock, and we are up 1.7% in this position for a gain of about $2.90. And this company went ahead and increased their dividend from $1.05 half of a cent to $1.25. And and so a two cent increase in their dividend, but I'm happy to see that come through. Dividend number 22 coming in on the 19th of September, sticker symbol UNH, which is United Health Group Incorporated for $5.64. We own three shares of the stock, and we are up 55.4% in this position overall for a gain of just over $539. And this company is one of the biggest in my portfolio, coming in at 5.16% overall. Dividend number 23 coming in on the 20th of September, sticker symbol D, which is Dominion Energy Incorporated, for $1.34. I own two shares of this stock, and we are down 40.5% in this position for a loss of just under $61. Dividend number 24 coming in on the 22nd of September, sticker symbol LMT, which is Lockheed Barkin Corporation, for $3. We own one share of the stock, and we are up 4.5% in this position for a gain of $17.60 in this stock. Dividend number 25 coming in on the 25th of September is ticker symbol EFC. For $8.25, we continue to hold on to 55 shares of this stock, and we are down about 31.2% in this position for a loss of about $311. Dividend number 26 coming in again on the 25th of September, sticker symbol SU for $4.92. We own 15 shares of the stock and we are up over, ready for this, over 121% in this position. So a massive gain in this. Uh, we're coming in at, at a gain of $283.15 and uh, we are just killing it in this company. On the sidebar, this is a Canadian company, so we are seeing a 15% tax come out courtesy of my brokerage account, but we are up massively in this position, and I'm happy to see that. Dividend number 27 coming in on the 28th of September, ticker symbol TROW. Uh, we made $3.66 for the three shares that we own, and we are down 23.4% in this position for a loss of about $96.33. <laughs> Dividend number 28 coming in on the 29th of September is ticker symbol ABGO for $9.20. We own two shares of this stock and we are up again over 102.5% in this position for a gain of $840.51. Woo woo! Uh, so I'm very happy to see that and this is one of the biggest companies in my portfolio coming in at 5.66% overall of my portfolio value. Happy to see that as a big gainer as well. Dividend number 29 coming in on the 29th of September is ticker symbol BAC, which is Bank of America. For $7.44, we own 31 shares of the stock, and we are down 15.4% in this position for a loss of about $154.38. And even though their, portfolio, their market value is down, they went ahead and increased their dividend from $0.03 cents from $0.22 cents a share to $0.25 cents a share, which I am happy to see. Dividend number 30 coming in again on the 29th of September is ticker symbol CCI, which is Crown Castle Incorporated, for $4.70. We own three shares of the stock, and we are down 38.3% in this position for a loss of over $171.50. Dividend number 31 coming in again on the 29th of September is ticker symbol DIN, which is Dine Brands Global Incorporated, for $1.02 own two shares of this stock and we are down over 39% in this position for a loss of just shy of $64. Div number 32 coming in again on the 29th of September is ticker symbol KHC, which is Kraft Heinz Company, for $3.20. I own eight shares of this stock and we are down just under $2 in this position. Dividend number 33 coming in again on the 29th of September is ticker symbol LTC for $1.90. We continue to hold 10 shares of the stock and we are down about 14.3% in this position for a loss of just shy of $54 in this position. 
And then the last dividend, number 34, coming in on the 29th of September, is TRV, which is the Traveler's Company. We earned $2 off of the two shares that we earned, and we are up 16.3% in this position for a gain of just shy of $60, $46 in this position overall. And that wraps up all of the individual dividends that I earned from the 34 different companies for the month of September. Um, let's go ahead and jump into my favorite part, which is statistics and goals for my portfolio. And uh, yeah, let's take a look see. So as far as the statistics of how my portfolio is doing, we break it down into different ways looking at my dividend yield. So we jumped up from the month of September to a 4.17% dividend yield. Our goal is to, you know, have that around 4% there. Uh, we jumped up to an average annual yield of $1,223.13 per month. That would be $101.93 per week. That is $23.52. And then average per day, we'd be making $3.35 off of passive dividend income. And we have seen that increase over time. This is one of my favorite ones to look at just because I that's how much money I'm making per day by just maintaining this portfolio. As we were to look at that per hour, that would be 14 cents per hour. And then per minute, we're still at that two tenths of a penny. And then if we were to compare this to an average 40 hour work week, we would be making 58 and 18 cents per hour off of doing essentially nothing but minimal maintenance label. Uh, so we are doing really good there and continuing to see this increase and I see that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the overall goals for my portfolio long term as well as the end of the year. So we can see the current portfolio value, dividends, yield, all of those things. As far as my goals for 2023, I want to earn $1,275 in dividends this year. We're Getting close, I don't know, I don't think we're going to hit it, but you never know, it could happen. We want to have the probably reach $32,500, and we are not doing good in that regard. It's just been all over the place. Um, I want to reach an average of $105 monthly average in dividends, and then $3.45 on average per day. We'll see if we hit all those. Those are lofty goals, but that's what we want. And then as far as long-term portfolio goals, I want to reach $600,000, earning 4% dividend yield, about $2,000 a month on average in dividends, and then $65.75 a day on average in dividends yield. And then we have it broken down just by the little check marks that we can go through. And you can see we've hit the $30,000 and the $31,500, and we have gone back down. Uh, but this goes all the way to that $600,000 as well as the monthly dividend yield and then the daily dividend yield, just so we can check these off and really see how we're progressing is because I really like to be able to look at that and see even though there's small increases, we are still moving in the right direction. But that is going to wrap things up for me today, guys. Hopefully your portfolio wasn't hit too hard this last month and you were continuing to see those dividends come in. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.